show that the trajectory of an object thrown at a certain angle with horizontal is a parabola this we have to prove if an object is thrown with an angle with a certain angle that means other than 90 degrees with horizontal the path must be in parabolic path so for that we have to write let a body projected with an initial velocity u at an angle theta with horizontal from a point o the path of the body is called trajectory the path is called path or trajectory you can use any one word the velocity this initial velocity is divided into two components the initial horizontal component of velocity is ux that is u cos theta the initial vertical component of velocity that is uy u sin theta if you examine this diagram an object is thrown with an angle theta with uh, this horizontal x with an initial velocity is u this initial velocity u divides into two perpendicular components along x axis the initial velocity is ux according to y axis which is uy we know the components are resolution of vectors this is this x axis is u cos theta this y axis is u sin theta now along horizontal direction the acceleration is uh, zero along the horizontal direction acceleration is zero the vertical component changes the magnitude and direction due to gravity in vertical component this this component changes its uh, magnitude and direction due to because of gravity acts in the vertical direction let the projectile is at the point p x y after time interval t so the projectile is projected here after certain time this will go or follow this path okay now we have to find the path is parabola so here the projection of u covers along x axis and y axis the displacement of the object along x axis along y axis so along x axis is x if i extend this value then this will be x and uh, this will be y along y direction the displacement is y but along x direction the displacement will be x this is x so now we have to write along x direction along x direction use s is equal to ut plus half at square here we have to find the time because this body covers same time intervals along x axis and y axis are the same time as time intervals simultaneously along x and y direction so we have to find uh, t value find uh, t from this equation so put s is equal to x this is x x distance along u is u cos theta u is equal to u cos theta along uh, x axis of course t is time but uh, from this point 3 a is equal to 0 
then this equation becomes x is equal to u cos theta into t plus half into acceleration means 0 t square then x is equal to u cos theta into t then time t is equal to x by u cos theta this is equation number 1 now we have to find along y direction along y direction the body along y direction we have to find so for that also we have to use s is equal to ut plus half a t square use s is equal to ut plus half a t square equation now re replace s is equal to y this is the displacement along x y axis is y of the body u is equal to the vertical component is u sin theta of course u is equal to u y which is equals to u sin theta time time is common for x and y axis so put time t is equal to x by u cos theta x by u cos theta then a is equal to that means along y direction a will be minus g because this object is projected in vertical direction so that means we are measuring the vertical displacement along vertical direction the acceleration in upward direction the acceleration must be equals to minus g then substitute these terms in this equation that is y is equal to u means u sin theta into t means x by u cos theta minus half g x by u cos theta t means x by u cos theta whole square now this u and this u gets cancelled that is equal to sin theta by cos theta means tan theta into x minus half g x square by u square cos square theta applied this square with all these terms then then we have to write this x square outside and we have to put these terms into inside of this bracket then this equation becomes tan theta into x minus g by 2 u square cos square theta into x square into x square let uh, a is equal to tan theta that means this term b is equal to this term which is in the bracket g by 2 u square cos square theta then this equation becomes y is equal to tan theta means a into x minus this total term g by 2 u square cos square theta means b 
into x square. Hence, uh, this equation represents parabola parabola this equation is equation of parabola the hence the projectile or hence the path of the projectile which is thrown is parabola so this is the final equation this question carries 4 marks okay thank you